Hey guys, welcome back to Luna's Kitchen. I am Luna and today I will be sharing with you how I make one of my favorite snacks from childhood. I'm sure you've guessed by now if you've ever had marinade. That's what I'm making. The ingredients to making marinade are very simple. And this is essentially fritters, chicken fritters. If you're vegan or vegetarian, simply don't eat meat. You don't have to add the chicken, but typically it's made with chicken. Please do as I say and not as I do when you're chopping peppers, especially scotch bonnet. Wear gloves. I'm so used to chopping up peppers that I don't in my kitchen. I hardly ever wear gloves to chop peppers, but those things can really harm you. So please wear gloves. I already had some pre-cooked chicken, but I also need some chicken stock. I am going to use that chicken to make some stock, starting with adding some ippies. I'm going to fry up ippies. And by now, I'm sure you guys are pros, you guys are experts at making ippies. But either way, I will go ahead and link a video on how to make ippies down below. So check out that video if you're curious and you have no idea still what Ippies is. Ippies is the base to Haitian cuisine. If you want to start somewhere, you start with making the Ippies. Always making the Ippies. So after frying the Ippies, I, I simply added the chicken, added the scotch bonnet. Again, you can customize this to your taste. You don't have to make it as spicy as I made mine. I definitely like my marinade to be super spicy. So I always add some heat, some scotch bonnet or some habanero. Whenever you're making any form of chicken stock, especially a Haitian dish, we use a lot of citrus, either sour orange or some lime juice when you're making chicken. So I just added some sour orange juice to my chicken. And I'm just, again, as you can see, I'm building that stock. Now keep in mind that my apis that I added already has garlic and thyme and all kinds of other herbs and seasoning. So you won't have to add much to the stock for it to be flavorful. So now I'm adding some warm water. And the last thing I'm going to add to the stock is some magi or some bouillon cubes. And if you don't eat it, that's fine. You can just add a little bit of salt and that should do but marinade again is really flavorful it's a little bit spicy it's crunchy on the outside and it's soft on the inside and there's chunks of chicken throughout it it's absolutely delicious after adding flour i'm going to add a little bit of salt to the flour i'm also going to add some baking soda along with baking powder depending on the quantity of marinade that you're making then you want to add either more or less baking powder or baking soda. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda because I'm making about a little bit more than a cup of flour and I have about the same amount of stock, about a cup of stock with the chicken chunks. And for the consistency of the batter, you want it to be slightly thick. You don't want it to be overly runny and you pour in that chicken stock little by little and you make a batter and that's all there is to it now if you want the crunchiest marinade because marinade on the outside is supposed to be crunchy and the inside is supposed to be really fluffy and really meaty if you want that really crunchy exterior then you definitely want to allow that batter to last for a little bit you want it to be a little bit cold when you fry it when you heat up your oil you want to make sure that the pot is you want the fire to be too low because if you put that marinade and cold oil it's going to soak up all that oil and you're going to end up with really oily marinade it's just not going to be a good experience <laughs> so you want the oil to be hot because you you also don't want to flash fry your marinade because they won't be cooked on the inside and um, i'm just using my pancake batter thingamajig i don't know what to call it but i just poured the batter in it just made these little fritter balls and that's all there is to it fry my marinade until they get to be a golden color and then I go ahead and I place them on a the rack. Mine can be really oily so you definitely want to drain it. And that's it. Now to eat this you definitely want to have some kind of pickles. I didn't make pickles, the usual pickles with cabbage. I made pickles with onions and it was just so good. This is a really easy recipe. Go ahead and try it. I think this will become one of your favorite snacks if you do. And if you do happen to try it, let me know how it goes. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!